So here we're just going to continue off where we left off at. And if you haven't watched part one of this video tutorial, I'll put a link down below and I'll put, pop one up on the screen right now. So yeah, here we're going to finish out the rest of the code. So you want to go over to your uh, main activity on your project. So right off the bat, we need to come down here and get a uh, create variables for our all of our items that we created, and like the, that one text view and like the 18 buttons that we made. This might take a little bit, but you can fast forward to when I'm done with this. So make them all private. We'll go private and then we'll just do text view, text view. And then we'll make, this is called answer TV. So you see what I mean when I create like a TV and ET and all that. And the buttons will just go with a key, keypad zero and so on. So that's what we'll do. We'll go keypad declare it as a button so we'll go keypad zero now if you get one of these little errors it basically just has to import the button so if you uh, click control or it's alt enter and it's uh, option enter for max you import class so right there I created that little button class up there so if you space these out with a comma you can add instead of just creating like 18 lines named button like private button, keypad one, private button, keypad two. You can just fill it up in one line. I might break it in two lines just for the readability of it. But uh, yeah, we'll go keypad one. And then I will copy both of these. And then give it a little paste. Uh, what is this? Three and two. Oop, and paste. And then uh, five and four. And then paste. This will be six, seven. Like I said, you can fast forward if you want. If not, I'll be done here in just a second here. And then paste again. And then this will be 8, 9. So we'll go 9. So I'll just make the uh, all the other buttons, which will be the all the addition and subtraction and all that. I'll create that in their own line here. So we'll go, uh, we'll go keypad add. And then I'll just copy this. Then add, subtract, divide, multiply clear and we need equals i think that's it Oop. so let's uh go equals and clear and then divide then multiply mult track did i put too many on here i think i did let's see here I don't know. i'm sure we'll figure it out later let's see here add yeah. let's make that capital so let's make sure we got add subtract multiply divide Okay, and yeah, I think we got everything good. The next step, we'll have to go down to the uncreate because we need to pull the reference from our XML. This kind of connects the main and XML. This just gets a reference to all the items we created in XML. So, and on the uncreate, if you don't know, like, okay, when your app launches, it launches the main activity because this is the launcher activity. And then you can check that out by going over to the application and then uh, like right here it's the main activity and it's the launcher and we'll I'll touch more on the manifest like in different tutorial but uh, you run the app it'll launch this main activity then it pulls up the uncreate and then on the uncreate it sets the view to the activity main which is the XML so this will be the view so yeah just in case if you if you don't know that you, you might want to go back and watch like uh, I think I have two more tutorials before this that, you know, is even more basic. I know this is, seems pretty basic, but the other ones are even more basic than this one. See, we have a lot of buttons here. So this is kind of a long process, but not really. Like you'll go and uh, for answer TV or answer TV and then equals, and then you go find view by ID. So this pulls the reference from the uh, XML file. So you go R dot id dot and then answer tv so yeah like i said it's not really a long process but it might seem tedious because we have like so many buttons going on here but like i said if we copy and paste i think we can fly through it pretty quick so we'll go uh keypad zero and this auto completion really helps out too so find view by id and then r dot id dot key zero button 
And then I'll just copy and paste this eight, nine more times. All right, now let's just fly down here and change each of these real quick. And I will have all my code in the GitHub repo, so you can always go there and just copy everything I did. I don't recommend it. It's better just to kind of get in there and start typing things, but like if you're in a rush and you just want to hurry up and get it going, then later on dissect it, you can just go on my link below and just go straight to the GitHub and just kind of copy out things from the project. If you don't want to go ahead and type it, I probably should have mentioned that earlier, but that's how I'll, that's how I run all my tutorials here. I know it's kind of a pain in the ass sometimes to get on here and just kind of follow someone how they do it. Like I'm a slow typer, so, so it probably, so we got all the, the main number buttons. So we'll go with, uh, start with key pad add and equals key add button. I'll just copy and paste this. And I think that's, yeah, maybe we need one more. So we'll go, what did we name this? Sub, and multiply, and then divide, div, clear, and then uh, equals. So then we gotta go over here and change these. Make sure you change them to the right one. So this one will be sub, and this one will be multiply or mult. This one will be divide. I don't know why I spelled it all the way out there. Clear, and then uh, equals. So I think we got all of the things there. So, and now our next step will be to create, uncreate listeners for uh, all of our button tabs. So to do this, there's a few different right ways. I got a tutorial on how to do it multiple ways, but for this way, this is the easiest way. So you have to basically pull uh, or implement a unclick listener method for, you know, to be able to do all this. So we'll go implements on click listener. If you go over here and tap this little red light bulb and tap on implement method, and then go ahead and leave that blue and then just tap uh, or hit okay. So what this did, it created a unclick method down here for us. In order for us to use it, I'll just add one for now. We'll go up to, uh, let me put a space here, separate that text view from our buttons. So basically we have to go down here and go keypad zero dot set on click listener. So if you type, hit that, so you can set it here if you hit new and then unclick listener and it'll create the method like actually in the uncreate. I like to not do it like that. So, uh, but yeah, if you if you would hit new and then set unclick listener on here, you would have to do that like 18 times. I like to kind of create things out of the uncreate. So this, basically you just type in this, you just have to pass in the context. And what the context is just means this uh, activity right here basically. So, and now we have to do that with all the buttons. And if we leave out a button, it just won't work. So we'll hit the, so hit that 10 times. And then, so you got zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, basically. Nine, okay. And then we got to use, do these ones too. Dot set on click listener, and then this, and then, now this, after we do this, this might all be all we need to do in our uncreate. So let's just try to buzz through this last couple of things in here. And actually we're pretty close to being done with this whole thing. Now, if it wasn't for me rambling on about stuff, we'd be done probably 10 minutes ago. So we'll go subtract, multiply, divide, uh, clear, and then equals. I think we're done. Let's just uh, minimize this or whatever. So now uh, create a switch statement. So what a switch statement is, it'll just check out what button we're tapping. And then if we tap, so if we just uh, tap a, like the one button, it'll know what we're, what we're tapping. So we go switch. These are pretty handy for this type of scenario when you have like a ton of buttons on like on a page. So just go switch and then we need to pull the view up here. So we'll go view dot and then get ID. And then, so everything we'll, that we do will go inside this. 
So we'll create one thing and then we'll just copy and paste the rest of them. The only things that will be different it will be when uh, will be when we like hit add and stuff. Like, but all the numbers will be pretty much the same. We need a couple uh, variables up here, basically to hold our number. Like when we're putting our number into the text view, we need something to kind of hold each number because we're going to enter one number at a time. And you to add two numbers, you have to be able to remember both numbers. Let's go uh, private. Try to make everything private if you know you're not going to use it, and it's just good. Uh, it's good to get in the habit of that. If you know, if you know you're not going to use it in anything else, it's always good to keep everything private, any regardless. So we'll go private uh, string, and then we'll just call this number, name it number, and then we'll make it equal to just an empty, an empty string here. And then we'll also need uh, basically like the placeholder for each number. So we'll go private. And then these will be doubles. And then we'll name this num1. And then we'll equal zero. And then we'll go private double num2. And then we'll make that equal zero. But yeah, like I said, these two will be like the two placeholders for the numbers that we add. Oh, we tap on the device. Private uh, string and then symbol and just close that one off so this will basically be like once you hit the symbol it's going to store like if we hit add it's going to store it in this one that's how we're going to be able to figure out what symbol is actually in this symbol string if it's add we'll add if it's subtract we'll subtract so yeah just go back down to the un un uh, unclick and then we'll start our first case here which will be the key zero so we'll go case and then r dot id see this is basically saying like if we're hitting whatever resource or reference we're hitting id we're hitting it's going to trigger this case so if you go r dot id and then go to key button zero and then these it can't be a semicolon it's got to be just a regular colon so hit that colon button go down to number so we're going to store this in our number so we go number uh, number equals number plus and then whatever number we're hitting so this will be a zero we want to show whatever number we're hitting in our answer portion of the calculator we will go with answer tv dot set text and then inside the parentheses we'll say number so we have to do it like this because uh, hold on let me let me break just type in break here so we have to do it like this because uh, say w our first number is actually like a one. If you just uh, if you didn't have this, it would just make number equal zero and not like one plus zero, which would be ten. Basically, this is just showing what we've typed so far on here. So we'll just copy this and then we'll paste it. Paste. I'll just do it a few times. I know we have to do it a bunch, so I don't know. That's uh okay, so now we go one and then one and then two, two, and then three, three, four, four, five, five, and then six, and then seven, eight, and then nine. So we got all the numbers here. Our next our next step will be to figure out what we're tapping with the uh, the symbols, whatever, uh, like add or subtract or whatever we're doing here. So we'll put key, key add button, and then we don't need any of this. So this is, we're just going to store it in our symbol variable that we created up there. So we'll go uh, symbol, so if it detects our add button being tapped, we'll go symbol equals, and then plus. And then close that off. So right here, we'll have to go with a number or num1, and then uh, make that equal to. And then we got to actually whatever's in our text view, which it'll be in our text view, but it'll be stored in this number string. Whatever's in there, we have to actually convert it to an integer. I guess you could do it with a double or whatever. But okay, so if you go integer dot parse int, 
and then you have to put a string in here and our string would be number basically once we hit our add sign or whatever sign that's saying that's our first number that we're going to add and then so we got to put that we got to put that number into the num1 double up there we have and then we have to basically clear out number so number equals and then nothing basically just empty text so we'll do this uh, three more times add and then sub uh, divide and then multiply clear will be like pretty easy I'll do that right now real quick so if we go clear so our clear button it basically just is going to put all of our variables to not nothing so I guess we could do that with a symbol I don't know if we need to clear out our symbol or not we'll make the number equal zero and then num2 and we haven't really hit on it yet but I know we need to make that to equal to zero and then I think that's it for the clear so let's go up here and we'll just go up the order here so that's multiply so we'll hit our little star and yeah I think that's all we have to do with the rest of them so divide let's go and then subtract we'll go this little portion right here uh, it'll be in a case statement because once we hit equals this is where the uh, real magic goes on so wait equals okay so we don't need that we do need our num2 though we need to grab our num2 and then basically uh, whatever remember how we cancel okay once you hit like multiply it'll clear out the number and then you can start typing in a different number so that is getting stored in num2 so then we clear it back out which actually we don't need to yet we'll do that later on in this but here we have to add another switch statement it's going to figure out like what if we hit uh, like an add whatever's in our symbol variable it's going to do that stuff so if it's if we if add is in our symbol uh, variable up here it's going to like like add the two numbers together num1 and num2 it's going to add them together so switch and then we'll go symbol our first case would be if our if symbol is equal to uh, we'll go plus and then colon and then I'm just going to hit break on all these real quick just to get them all up here and then case two if it's uh, if it's a minus and colon and then break and I'm just going to copy these two and then multiply so we will do the add first so basically we need to set the text in our answer TV so answer TV dot set text and then this will just it's just going to add the two numbers that we have saved together if you remember like our num1 and number two they're both doubles so we need to actually convert those back to strings so it's up in our answer text view so to do that you can uh, you can use a way to parse it to a string or you can just type in like an empty string but we won't leave it empty we'll just say answer just so we know what's going on up there and then hit a semicolon and then just add but yeah a quick easy way to make a number a string you just add an empty string and then hit hit the plus or whatever but yeah let's make a parentheses and put num one and then plus num two so that's how you do that and then we'll just copy this and then copy it a couple more times and then we'll just do the logic on how to so this one would be minus division and then multiply them two together and then once we hit enter we need to actually we can pull all this here and actually I think we're completely done with this so I will run this on my phone so as the apps loading up I will Let's just go over real quick what we did here. In our uncreate, we just created all the references to everything we made in our XML. And then 
by implementing an un uh, unclick listener up here, we created it created a method down here for us. So every time you like hit a button, it would add that button into the uh, number variable, which then the number variable is always updated into the text view. So I got it running here. Let's try it out. Let's uh, see what we got here. We'll go uh, one easy one one plus one then equals answer two. So you got eight times nine equals 72. I guess we could have also, you guys can mess with this too. Uh, see what the clear's not working. So all right, three times nine. Okay, so the clear's not working. So if we hit clear, you know what we need to do? We need to, uh, the text view, we need to clear that out. So we'll go uh, text view. Oh wait, what do we call it? Answer text view. Answer TV dot set text. And then I'm not going to run this, but this is how you would do it. So if you hit the clear button, it just sets that everything's cleared out. It sets the, te sets the text to just nothing. It's just going to be blank. But yeah, that's basically it. So yeah, if you found this video helpful in any way, uh, just go ahead and hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I'd appreciate both or one or the other. You know, I'm not too picky. But yeah, just uh, be looking out. I'll have more videos coming up weekly. So thank you. Thanks for watching.